Hello and welcome to the Wicked Gate. My name is Benjamin, and today we're talking about why we have the Bible. The Bible, if you're not a believer in Jesus, it can be very confusing or even really kind of intimidating. Some people just view it as a book of rules or maybe a book of wisdom, but as having no more authority than any other ancient text. But the believer in Jesus knows that the Bible is much, much more than this. We know that Scripture is the Word of God, and we know that true Christian beliefs are based completely and solely on the Bible. But why do we even have the Bible? What purpose does it serve in the life of a Christian other than telling us what to do? That's what we're going to be focusing on the next few weeks. 2 Timothy 3.16 says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. I mentioned a moment ago that the Bible is the written word of God. 2 Timothy 3.16 reaffirms this truth. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. This is why the Bible is so powerful. When you read the Bible, you're reading the very words of God. Many people wonder why God doesn't send prophets anymore. It seems to them that the word would be much more potent if it came from a person rather than from a book. I mean, after all, the prophets could do miracles. To these people, the Bible is just some old book. However, in our lives today, the Bible is where we see God's revelation and experience his power. There's a theological term here called dispensation. It deals with the way that God reveals himself to man over time. Dispensations explain why, even though we know from scripture that God never changes, we see God differently than Adam and Eve did, uh, than Abraham, Moses, Isaiah. You and I live in what's known as the dispensation of grace. It's called the church age. And in other dispensations throughout history, God did speak directly to prophets who would communicate his word to other people. This is how they received the word of God. But today, in the dispensation of grace, God communicates with us through his word, the Bible, and through conviction that comes from the Holy Spirit. What the people who wonder why God doesn't send prophets anymore don't realize is that when the prophets lived, they were the only ones who received God's truth. Whereas now, everyone can read God's truth for themselves without the need for a prophet to relay the message. We actually have God's complete revelation. And when we put our faith in Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes inside us. So we are better off than the ancient Israelites. In the first video and blog post for the Wicked Gate, we talked about the holiness of God. God created the entire universe out of nothing, and we know that he is holy and way higher than everything else. This holy God gave us his own word so that we could experience its power. Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God is alive and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Reading the Word of God can convict you of sin, it can encourage you when you're weak, and it can offer guidance and direction into your life. God put this incredibly powerful tool directly into our hands and preserved it from the many who have tried to destroy it. The fact that the Bible is the very word of God should revolutionize your life. That's what it was designed to do. You should never get used to the fact that when you open the Bible, you are hearing God speak into your life. Isaiah 55, 10 and 11 tell us that just like rain and snow come down from the sky and they water the earth, so God's word comes down and it fulfills his purpose. Verse 11 says, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. The Bible is more than just an old book written by long dead people. It's the message of the living God to the world, and it will accomplish exactly what he pleases. 
make sure you don't take for granted the power and the truth contained in its pages.